Okay, that was two shots for Jäger Mac. Greetings, Mac Warriors. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. My name is TTB. Good to see all of you today and welcome back to Mac Warrior 5 Mercenaries German Mech Engineering with TTB. Now, today, guys, we're going to revisit the Annihilator. In the beta, we did the Dakar Lord 5000, but with this little boy here, with the Bolt Thrower 40k, I think we have really, really built a machine capable of untold destruction and mayhem. Let's talk about its features, shall we? Well, in terms of armaments, we are running quad LB-10X solid slugs and quad medium lasers, so you will have to have four lost tech weapons in this. The medium lasers, they are a dime a dozen, you can easily get them, but the LB-10X solid slugs, they will take a little bit more time to collect, you have to wait till you get to the uh, like level 12 upwards zones and a little bit later in the timeline, so 30, 30 plus maybe, to get your hands on those reliably, but you might get them in... Um, quests that you do, high reward quests. Now, as I said, we have four LB-10 solid slugs. These things in total do 40 damage per shot altogether, and they have a rate of fire of about, well, one shot every two seconds, 2.5 seconds. The range is 540, but of course it extends beyond that, so it's really, really nice range. Good projectile speed, 800 meters per second, and uh, just, just an amazing weapon to use, especially since it just generates uh, 1.5 heat over the three heat from the AC-10, so half the heat of an AC-10. We have two double heat sinks, one on the right torso, one on the left torso, and the rest is literally just uh, our medium lasers here, four apiece, one in each arm and two in the center torso, plus ammo. How much ammo? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine tons of ammo, because we need to be ready to shoot the enemy as much as possible. We're going to do a 400 difficulty, uh, 400 ton, 100 difficulty mission, so max everything. The AI pilots will consist of a uh, Cyclops. This one is going to be a Sleipnir. We've got a Kraken Atlas and we've got the Heavy Metal Highlander. So, you know, a little bit of fun in here. Some less than uh, or less known mechs or less seen mechs because they're very expensive if you want to try to get them in your single player Allied campaign. So let's get in here and let's start with our customary mission war zone as, as always. Let's make sure we our weapons are all properly configured. Let's go ahead and get back. our media laser set up. Hopefully Rihanna will go ahead and shut up now. And also gonna use the arm medium lasers here as a third weapon group. Okay, that should be fine. Yep, we're all set. Let's uh, get to working. So 540 is our range. The LB-10 slugs are ready and waiting and there are some targets coming in at 1100 meters. Let's get our guys to move over here. And uh, we will, of course, slowly move towards the target as well. As you can see with the Annihilator, the main Achilles heel is the slow speed, but it makes up for it with the sheer firepower. Observe. <laughs> Couldn't have planned this better, that was actually a big, big miss. Okay, let's try this again. Yep, that was a hit. Now he's in range with the medium lasers. We're gonna switch him over to the assassin because he's fresh. That's one shot and the leg is gone and he's dead. <laughs> that didn't last long. Okay. So, uh, so far we fired two times. I need to start shooting more and talk less apparently. But uh, we're missing a target here. It's hiding somewhere. I just can't find it right now. Target. Hello. Hello. The yeah, AI doesn't seem to know where the target is. Oh, there is a red lip. Oh no! It's a single javelin. He seems to be lost or something. Maybe I can tell my guys to attack him or something. Also, the Slightly has taken some damage already, but not that much. Got shot in the back once. Okay. So, um, apparently the AI got shot or something over there. So, we might have to walk over there in order to be able to shoot him. There is our glitched pilot, 800 meters, let's see if we can hit him. Boom! So as you can see guys, the weapon is easily usable at 800 or 900 meters still. Fast enough projectiles to hit those targets and to make sure that they actually do a lot of damage. I just wish Rihanna would shut up. So let's see, where is the enemy dropship coming in? Is it coming in here? Because I'm getting shot by something. Ouch, okay, well, there we go. Just wonder who's shooting me right now. Probably a tank or something. Or a helicopter. Let's get that VTOL. Boom! Right out of the sky. 
Yeah, we got a harasser here. There's a cicada. Boom! Alpha strike. One shot kill. Let's return to the next cicada. Ah, another one shot kill this time, but very red and almost dead. Let's keep on shooting. I'm just gonna show you guys the DPS of this build. As you can see, it's insane. That was 80 damage, just pumped out like nothing. And the heat, completely negligible as far as I'm concerned. Uh, also, that assassin apparently is breakdancing. Um, ragdoll much? Oh, that's not an assassin, that's the uh, Phoenix Hawk, but he was ragdolling around a little bit. Um, are they dropping behind us? Hello? Nope, they just got dropped off at this ridge, so... I'm gonna make my way there to try and engage them. I don't want to play with the light guys over here because that's just boring. Let's get this guy down and get in closer towards my main targets. Which should be right over this ridge. As a Warhammer. 1300 meters. Can I even hit this guy from here? Let's see. It's gonna be hard. Because he's too far out. I was almost a hit. Okay, I almost destroyed... I, I took away his leg armor, I took his leg down to yellow at 1200 meters with the solid slugs. Guys, you can snipe with this stuff. Do not trust the range, it's actually advertised on them. They are insane! Alright, let's see, here he comes. There's our Warhammer friend. He's got a rifleman with him, another rifleman. Let's go ahead and shoot the Warhammer. And a boom, that's a hit on the arm. Let's try this again. Side torso hit. Side torso almost gone. That's the side torso gone. And one more shot should make the Warhammer gone. Poof goes the weasel. I'm just gonna hold down the fire button so you can see how quickly this actually shoots. That's 80 damage into target. That's a 20. 160. 200. 240. As you can see, you can shell out damage like crazy with this thing. And the added bonus over the Ultra AC build is that you're basically never jamming. The only thing that's limiting you is your heat cap, and that's not so much of an issue if you just stick to using the RB10s. The medium lasers are just a, I would say, short-range burst weapon. If you need a quick shot or if you need a quick 20 damage, you can easily pump it in with the medium lasers. Let's see, 1400 meters. Let's try this. And by the way, yeah, the cooling is really slow, as you can see beforehand. I'm gonna shoot this grass over here. Yep, there was a hit in the cockpit! 1200 meters cockpit hit! <laughs> Nerf TTP, please! Wow. Okay, now I'm not hitting him anymore. Let's see. That was another hit. Of course, not, not all shells are hitting right now because I can't really properly aim onto him, but uh, we're hitting enough, I would say, to be very, very annoying to him. Oh, he's dead. That was a yellow CT to dead CT in one shot. Let's try and get the leg of that Thunderbolt. That leg should be gone now. Okay, almost gone. So it's again. Yep, that leg is gone. Now we go for the other leg. If I can see it, that is. Oops. <laughs> I'm a little bit too hot. So yeah, as you can see, consecutive fire will definitely put some heat down. I'm actually contemplating of uh, recommending a different build on this as well, where you would basically just use the uh, LB10s and have two more double heat sinks and two tons more ammo and just basically forego all the lasers. But I wanted something that's balanced that can even shoot a little bit once your ammo runs out. So it's always a balancing thing, guys. It's always a balancing thing. And also that scorpion is trying to snipe me here. Okay, dude. Here, yeah. I'm gonna snipe you right back. Only my stuff actually hurts. Haha, bye bye, Igor. Hey, what is he doing here? Okay. Over down. Let's go on over to our last three remaining targets. I'm going to order all my guys to hold fire. I'm gonna go 1v3 now with these guys. Including a Banshee. Ah, that's not a hit, I think. Nope. Also quite hot right now, so we'll see how this goes. Uh, we've got a Jägermeck coming in. Alright. Oh, that's just a bad Banshee. Okay, that's that's not that's not too crazy, but um, because I still need to get my shots to target, otherwise it won't work. So, let's keep firing. The Jägermeck is really in for me. The PPCs are making things a lot harder than it should be. We're running a little bit hot now. Let's see how long we can keep this up. I can't see what I'm shooting. That, that Banshee is literally trolling me by just by dancing around like crazy. Okay. Let's try and get the Jaeger mech here. 
Okay, that was two shots for Jäger Mac. Alright. So Jäger is down. Now we can go over to the Orion. One shot. Two shots. Three shots. And bye bye Orion. And now we can work with the Banshee, who doesn't have many weapons, it's just it's just gonna be annoying. So let's go ahead and take him down. Atlas, what are you doing? This is just another example, guys, of the stupid AI. He's just running around in front of me for no reason. Okay, Banshee, you know what? Let's try and show the, sh the sniping capabilities of this build. Let's try and go for cockpit kill here. Which is gonna be hard because he's walking on an incline. Uh, that was not a cockpit hit, unfortunately. A little bit too low. That was a cockpit kill. I think. So, let's go to our extraction point. This time conveniently placed close after last time I kicked Rihanna out of the dropship and made her walk two kilometers. Where we of course picked her up to let her know how actually annoying it is to have to walk these distances. So, as you can see we just took down a full enemy lance without a problem basically. The heat becomes a little bit of an issue if you're trying to shoot too many targets on your own over a uh, short period of time, but you definitely have enough damage capabilities to take down, I would say, 200-300 tons on your own without uh, getting heat capped too quickly. But you make sh need to make sure, guys, that your hits go into target. That's why I'm saying, if you're having a little bit of problems heat managing or you're not that good of a shot, put in two more double heat sinks and put in two more tons of ammo and just forgo the medium lasers completely, there might be a better bang for your buck. But Overall, guys, I'm just blown away by the sheer firepower this thing has, and uh, I just love it. I just love it. You know what? Let's, let's go ahead and, and delete that archer and that warhammer. Just because we can. <laughs> I mean, the two shots on the Jaeger make were a little bit rid ridiculous, but uh, that just goes to show you how bad the stock armor really is, and why I always advertise to keep your armor up front. Alright, here's the warhammer coming in now. One shot on the CT so far. I didn't hit properly. Let's go and switch over to the assassin. Assassinate the assassin. And now we can go ahead and flock on the Warhammer. One more shot should kill it. Bye bye. And now the archer. We're basically, we're basically shooting at LRM ranges right now, but I don't even care. Boom! He's gone. Easy. Easy peasy. I mean, in terms of ammo, we still have 52 rounds left, so that is uh, 10 shots. That's enough still to kill about 2 or 3 mechs, depending on how close you are. But um, at this point, I would probably go ahead and evac. So, as I said, really, really nice build in my opinion. Of course, we'll have to look at the stats to see how much damage we actually ended up doing. And uh, if you don't miss as many shots as I did in the beginning, then uh, you will have a better experience. So, I'm curious to see how, how we did here. I like this build a lot. And I also like that the projectors are a little bit smaller so it makes it, and faster, so it makes it easier to do cockpit kills. So, that is 2000 damage in our Niagara 1A here. 18 total kills, 3 air units, 3 vehicles, 12 max damage taken, 457, nothing bad. The Atlas Boar's Head managed to take 0 damage. But also managed to do 251 damage. And the Highlander did 291, and the Cyclops did 356. If, okay, granted, they were um, not on shooting duty for the last uh, wave here, but still, elite AI pilots. I take a standard MWO potato as a lance mate anytime over these guys. <laughs> but yeah, that's it, guys. Go ahead, try out this annihilator build. Let me know how it runs for you, and if it does run for you i would appreciate a thumbs up and of course do check out my patreon page link in the description below become a member of team ttb have a great day guys i'll see you next time and bye bye